Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this get ready with me. I am gonna I'm gonna get ready because I'm going on a little bit of an excursion so I thought I'd sit down and do my makeup and I want to talk about something that a lot of you have been asking me about and that is how come I decided to like not color over my gray? Like how do I feel about that? Was that like a conscious decision? Is there like a protest? I've been getting a lot of questions so I thought I'd film a get ready with me about it because it's not that deep. <laughs> And if you haven't been here before, if this is your first video here, hello, my name is Angie. I am such a lover of beauty makeup. I love everything beauty makeup related, especially things that are a little bit more on the colorful side, which is not what we're going to do today, actually. Spoiler alert. But if you want to see more makeup videos on the timeline, don't forget to subscribe because I do upload at least five videos a week. <laughs> so I do have just like my own hair out today. No extensions, no nothing. This is my hair, and as you can see, I'm having a little bit of a gray streak here, and I also have a bunch of grays here, and I wanted to chat about this. Wait, let me get a primer. Where did I put it? Oh, here it is. I wanted to chat about this because I've been getting quite a lot of questions about this, like, how come you're going gray? Like, is, is it like, like I said, is it a protest? Like, what are your thoughts about it? And I'm gonna let you know, there is not a lot of thought that has gone into this. It's more a... I don't care, it's not that deep. And I wanted to share like my thoughts about it and just share my perspective. And maybe this could help you as well in just taking back control over your hair and how society sees your hair and just being able to make the choice yourself. Because I honestly think that like this whole gray hair debate is it's getting to be a little ridiculous and I want to break it down a bit. I am going to zoom in so we can just see what I'm doing. We're actually heading, my family's still here, it's their last day here, and we're heading to Fredericksburg. I think this is a little bit pre-filmed, I don't think that this is actually going up the week that I'm filming it, but we're going on an adventure, we're going to Fredericksburg, just checking up the scenery, and I thought I'd put some makeup on. Just straight out of the bat, I will say, me? deciding not to color over my grays that was not like a conscious decision it just happened because I was literally too busy to go to the salon I haven't been to a hairdresser in I think it's just a little bit over a year now and I just I didn't have time and I didn't think much about it this is my natural hair color it's like a dark more like it um, what would you call it? Like an ashy blonde and I don't hate my hair color. I think it's pretty good. I do some highlights in my hair. You can see it's lighter down here and I like how it looks and I'm probably going to do it again when I have time to go to a hairdresser. But I didn't think it was going to be so much of a debate like why did you decide to like not color over your gray and it got me thinking of what we expect women to look like and how we expect women to present themselves and when we expect people to go gray because i feel like sometimes people forget that like men and women are not that different and i think that it's so accepted for men to go gray but it's not for women i mean people literally have commented on my channel like it's so unkept you're so lazy i can't believe you're not coloring over your grays it just looks like like literally telling me that I'm ugly and lazy and unkept for not coloring over my grays. And it's like, would you ever tell a man that? Because like, if you're that person, if you think that it's unkept and lazy for a woman to not color over her grays, that's misogyny. That is misogyny. And if you have that opinion, that it's okay for a man to be gray and it's kind of sexy for a man to go gray, like a silver fox, but for a woman it's unkept and makes her look lazy and old, that's misogyny you should go check yourself. Because I think it's fascinating when we think women go gray. And I think it's because of how women are portrayed in, in media and in, in all kinds of places. Like the way that we are expecting women to look in different parts of their lives. Because I am 38. I'm about to turn 39. It's not that long to go. And I've had gray hair since... I was in my 20s, not not as much as this, but like a couple. Uh, and my mom had gray hairs early as well. And uh, my grandmother had as well, like it's DNA. And I think that sometimes people forget that a lot of things with you, the way you look and the way you are as well. Ooh, wait, let me put my ring back on. It's it's DNA. It's, it's all part of like what you got from like your family. And for me, I started getting gray hairs when I was in my 20s. 
And some people will. Some people will get grays in their 20s. Some people will not have grays until they're in their 60s. And I think that sometimes we forget because sometimes men will go gray in their 20s and it's like, oh, it's so sexy with some gray hairs. But women are expected to dye it over. And I will say that I haven't really put that much thought into like coloring over my grays. I don't think that gray hair is ugly and I don't think personally that gray hair is what makes you look old but I'm realizing when reading comments from you and from strangers online and from just people around me as well that some people are seeing it's like a brave statement uh, to not color over your grays and I didn't see it like that it was just me being not having enough time and I remember the last time I was um, at the hairdresser as well and I, she asked me like, do you want me to color over your grays? And I told her, I'm like, no, you don't have to do that. Just do some highlights. And if you hit the grays, you hit the grays. And if you don't, you don't. Like it's a part of me, it is what it is. And I told her like, it's gonna look so much more natural when it grows out if you didn't deliberately uh, color over the grays. And she's like, oh yeah, that's that's true. She's like, but most people do ask me to color over the grays. And I'm like, I get that. I, I do get that. And I, this is not me telling you that if you want to color over your grays that you can't. Of course you can. Like, I've been very open about the things that I have done with me, with my body, with my face. I'm just here to tell you that it is okay for you to choose what parts you want to change and what parts you don't want to change. And if you're like me and you don't think gray hairs is ugly and you think it's a natural, like, just the, this is how I look, I don't mind the grays, then don't let anyone tell you that you have to color it over because you most definitely do not have to do anything. If you don't want to color it over, don't, don't do it. You don't have to do it just because society is telling you that for some magical reason, men start going grays in their... 20s and 30s, but for, again, some magical unknown reason, women do not go gray until they're like, I mean, dead. Because I, I remember, I remember my great grandmother, she literally told me, and she died when she was like 97, 98 or something, and she always dyed her hair. And everybody knows that she dyed her hair because she used to have like really dark, almost black brown hair and she still dyed her hair that color until she died and she still told people isn't it amazing that i never went gray but everybody knew that she was dying her hair but for her it was important it was part of her identity and i don't blame her for doing that because society can be really harsh against women they're not keeping up you know it's the way that society is my grandmother, on the other hand, she went gray and she didn't really care about it uh, on my mother's side. But she always went to the hairdresser to, you know, perm her hair and make it like she had other things that she um, did, so to speak, to make her feel like the best version of herself, I guess. And that's the thing. You get to decide for yourself. If you, if you want to color over your grace, color over your grace. All I want to say with this video is that it's not that deep. And some of you have to stop telling people that they need to change parts of their appearance to fit your like taste, to fit what you think that they should look like. They get to look however they want to. And you get to look however you want to. Stop telling people that they need to fit into the, the norm or into what your taste is. It's okay if you don't like gray hairs. You don't have to have gray hair, but don't tell other people how they're supposed to look. I will say that all of my tan is like pretty much gone now. So I'm actually using that foundation that I told you about, the Lisa Eldridge, and I said like, oh, it's probably too light for me when I have a tan. And now that my tan is gone, I feel like it's really a good shade for my like non-tan self. So I'm not gonna bronze too much because I don't want it to look too dark since I am gonna be out and about today, and I, I, I want it. I, I always do my makeup so that it looks good in front of the camera and not in front of the camera. I, mean, I don't always succeed, but I try. A bitch can try. I'm gonna be trying out the Not a Box of Chocolates by ColourPop today, and I think I'm gonna start with the lippy. Ooh, and the brows. During my low buy, I want 
to just pick stuff that like makes me happy to do my makeup with and I want to have a mix of like old and new this is kind of new but this is just such a favorite I don't think anyone is talking about the <laughs> color pop and high school musical collection but this red blush that's called playoffs it has literally been one of my favorites I just think it is such a beautiful sheer warm wearable red blush and I just think it is like look at that I just think it's so I've been loving it so much i wasn't able to put it down once it like when it launched what was that like a month or two ago and now i was looking through my collection i was like what blush do i want to use and i'm like this one it's so pretty i really love it and i also saw someone using this the other day and i was like i haven't used mine in so long this is the rare beauty liquid illuminizer in mesmerize so i was like i really want to use this again let me just do a little bit. I mean, I am going to be out and about. I don't need to be like super highlighted. I say as I apply way too much. So do I have a brush here or am I just winging it? <coughs> I like applying uh, liquid products with a brush as well. You should probably apply it on your back of your hand first if you're a little unsure about like placement and how much but i like just going in with it i just think that it looks so good with a brush okay let me see if i can find the lipstick that i want to wear because i know i want to wear one of the not the lightest but the second to lightest and i don't remember what name that was was that this one it could have been hold so i think i think we're gonna do this one the one that is called hazelnuts about you they're so similar though. Because this is the lightest one, the one that is Dulce, Dulce de Leche. Am I saying that correctly? Ganache Queen is really beautiful, but I think we're gonna do this one that is called Hazelnuts About You. I have decided. I like that. That's a really pretty color. So I am gonna be using this palette here, the Not the Box of Chocolates uh, palette. I'll actually pull up some swatches so that you can see because I know that like when I use palettes for first time in a Get Ready with Me, ooh, let me do some primer while you're watching the swatches. I know that it helps to see some swatches of these palettes, and so I know you have been enjoying that. I'm gonna do something neutral today. I want to test out the quality of this palette because I've heard the quality is like really good and I just want to see if that is like true or not. I'm using a primer that's probably a little too light for what I'm doing, but this is the one that was in front of me, so here we are. It's a really good primer though. I love this primer. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try a couple of these out. I will say that this one that's called PB Brittle, it looks like it is some glitter in it, like encapsulated glitter, but there are no safety warnings on the back, so it's probably an eye safe formula, but I don't think that's the kind of look that I wanna do. I don't know what I'm doing. Famous last words. I'm gonna start with this one, on chip. I'm start starting with that one. I'm not gonna really be talking about what I'm doing. Just letting you know <laughs> where we're starting out, okay? There is a lot of kick up in the pan. I will tell you that. That I could notice straight away, which probably means that this is a formula that's easy to pick up, which is a good thing, as long as there's like not a lot of fallout on the face, because that means that there's not a lot of like binders that keeps it on, on the eyes. I am okay with that. Another comment that I've gotten a lot is, but you're so young. And I, this always surprised me because I, I don't know if people, like I said with genetics, if people don't understand that it it is not necessarily 100% tied into age, like when you will go gray. It has to do with your family and your genetics. I mean, some people will go bald when they're 20, some people will go gray when they're 20, some people will go into menopause like earlier or later. There, there are so many things that is tied to genetics and I think that sometimes, like I said before, I feel like pop culture and just media and, and just so many things have just decided for us when is it okay to have gray hair and it has like decided an age for everyone, regardless of like when you actually go gray. And I feel like it's the same with like 
wrinkles and so many things and people will ask you about tips or like what you do to keep wrinkles away when it's it could be genetics or it could be botox and i just wish that we would be more okay with the gap where you're allowed to go gray i wish it could be a little wider because there are people that spend majority of their life covering something up that is actually quite natural and it's nothing wrong you didn't do anything wrong by going gray early it's not like it's your fault it's not like you used the wrong shampoo or that you went too much in the sun or any of that that could be with wrinkles like you didn't use sunscreen or you were in the sun too much or blah 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 blah, blah. with gray hair there is literally nothing according to science, where we are with science right now, that you can do about going gray. And I feel like it's just such a shame that we are shaming people for something that they literally cannot help. <laughs> like, what are you going to do? I mean, are you lazy for being born by your parents? Like, what, what is, what is, the, what is the, the meaning of all of that? And I understand that some people, like I said, they don't like gray hairs and they want to color it over and they want to have a certain color. I mean, I've had every color under the sun. I totally understand about, you know, your appearance is, according to me, a form of expression of your personality. And I mean, I have blue hair and purple hair and pink hair and blonde hair and black hair. I've had everything. And I don't think there's anything wrong with dyeing your hair to fit the persona or the aesthetics that you're into. There's nothing wrong with that. I just wish that people wouldn't do it because otherwise people are going to say they're lazy. I mean, you're not. You, you didn't do anything to go gray. This is the shade Tiramisu, by the way. And that is a really good quality color. I will say if there's something that I have learned after being um in contact with brand owners and after like doing collabs myself and just talking about formulations and stuff it is a lot easier to formulate brown eyeshadows than it is to formulate other colors and make them easy to work with um, and one of the reasons of course is that brown will melt in more easily to your skin tone than a blue will for example so I always judge a neutral palette a little harsher because it's like, if you are not succeeding with that, then what are you doing? But yeah, that is a really good quality color. Very impressed. I just deepen up a bit with the darkest shade in the palette and I'm very impressed with how that is looking. I think we're doing this one, Vibe Shock. I never 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 do uh, like neutral like shimmers i never do neutral shimmers but today is the day am i gonna spray this oh that picks up really pretty let me actually spray this let me give this the best chance possible and i also i'm trying to not have a lot of fallout i mean it's a brown shimmer i do like a neutral matte but like a neutral shimmer i'm not like head over heels but i like how a neutral look looks on me it's just that colors make me so happy i mean that is pretty i, I mean i can't say that that isn't pretty that's really pretty i'm gonna make sure that this looks a little bit more blended of course it's it's nice <laughs> you can tell that i'm like I don't, I don't hate the quality. I actually think that the quality of these shadows is really beautiful. It's just that it's like all brown. But I mean, it looks pretty. I, I look pretty. I just would have preferred it if it was blue. <laughs> I put a little bit of the lightest shade there in the middle and I'm gonna just curl my lashes. I don't think I'm gonna do lashes today. Like, I'm gonna do my own lashes, no falsies, I mean. So I think I'm just gonna curl my lashes and do mascara. I'm actually, I have opened this one. This is the More Mascara by We Makeup. It is my favorite mascara from an indie brand because it is just so dramatic. It is like, yeah, it just really makes your lashes oop, look like their most dramatic self. 
we make up is an Italian indie brand. I'm sure they're gonna have, oh, I think they're already started, like, they did, like, a sale month instead of this Black Friday sale to keep, like, their sale a little bit more spread out. I really like we make up. They have really good stuff. And this mascara, I cannot recommend it enough. So I think I'm going to do two coats of mascara. Adding my final step with the pen. I will link everything down below in case you're interested. This collection by Colourpop, I think it's still available. Colourpop gave me a code. The code is in Jessica and you will get, I think it's $5 off a $20 or more order. I think that's what it is. Oh, that is beautiful. But yeah, check the description box for more info. I'm gonna add another layer of mascara and then we can wrap this video up. I don't really know if this video was at all helpful for you because I feel like when people ask me, why did you decide to go gray? My answer is like, what do you mean? It's not really a decision. I've had gray hair since I was in my twenties. I've just been, I don't know. I just didn't have time to dye my hair and it's not that deep and I, I understand while saying that and when seeing other people's reactions and when seeing what people say to me as well about being unkept and not caring about my appearance, I see that it's, it is actually that deep. And I do wish though that it wouldn't be. Uh, there are so many things that's like, that is your decision. If somebody asks you, why did you decide to not color over your gray? You could just be like, why did you decide to color over your grays? Especially if you are my age or older, because I realized that getting grays in your 20s, that is actually not that common. And I, I, I do recognize that me getting my first grays in my 20s was not uh, the norm. But I also will say that once you get up, my, most people will probably get their first gray in their 30s. So if, if you are talking to someone that's like my age, 38, 39 and older, you could just ask them, why did you decide to color over your grays? And if their answer is that they don't like gray hair, then that's perfectly fine. That's that's their prerogative, but it's also my prerogative to just not care that much about it. And I, I feel like there are so many small little things that makes it harder to be, and I say this in a little bit of air quotations because this is definitely not one of the big hitters, but just makes it harder to be a woman compared to being a man. And I, I, can we just not at least do it to watch each other? I understand for men that some men think that women don't fart and don't have to poop. I get it. Some some men don't understand how the VJJ works. Like there are men out there that think that you cannot go to the bathroom while having a tampon in. Like I get it. Education is not what it's supposed to be when it comes to like how women work. I get that. But these small things, we need to somehow break the whole like women and men age differently. We don't, we don't, we really do not. We really do not. And I think it's time to show men and also women out there that it is okay to choose, choose your own adventure. You wanna be gray in your 30s? That is perfectly fine. <laughs> it's your body, it's your hair, it's your decision. Don't let society tell you that you are lazy or unkept because you just don't wanna dye your hair. It's perfectly fine. And if you don't agree with me, that's also fine. Let me know down in the comments, but be respectful. Remember your choices is not everybody else's choices. We get, like I said, to choose our own adventure and my adventure doesn't have to be your adventure. I'm not telling you that you cannot color over your grays. If you wanna do that, go right ahead. I know men that color over their grays as well. That's perfectly fine too. I'm not telling you what to do. I personally don't care if you have gray hair or not. <laughs> It's <laughs> literally none of my business. Literally none of my business. Anyways, I hope you're having an amazing day. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I will have a video again tomorrow talking about makeup again in some other way, shape or form. If you have any questions about what I'm using or my other socials or anything like that, check the description box. Everything is going to be down there. Okay, I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.